Okay, let's generalize and understand the concept of prefix sum. So if we talk about prefix sum in a 1D array, and I create a prefix sum array, then what essentially it means is, it means at PAI level, at any index level, prefix sum of array A is defined as sum of all the elements of A starting from index 0 and all up to index A of I. If we add all of them, this will become prefix sum of array A. Now, if we really take a look at it, then what essentially we are looking for is A0 can be copied as it is. So I can just put 2 here because A0 to A0 sum will be 2. Then if I want to fill the next value, it will be sum of 2 and minus 5. If you observe 2 is already filled, ideally we can recursively define a prefix sum at any level i. So prefix sum of a of 0 is directly a of 0. There is no doubt about it. This is like a base case. And if you are doing pa of i, then you know that for p of i, you can take prefix sum up to i minus 1 and you are adding a i to it. So we can write it like p a of i minus 1 and plus a of i. With this philosophy, if we fill our prefix sum array, then it should be previous prefix sum and current a of i. So minus 5 and 2 becomes minus 3. Now same way minus 3 and 4 becomes 1. Same way 1 plus 3 becomes 4 and 4 plus minus 6 becomes minus 2. So we have kind of recursively formulated prefix sum of an array and then using that kind of in a linear scan we can fill prefix sum array easily. So this is useful in solving a lot of subarray related problems. So this concept we have seen like how do we fill a prefix sum array. This video, of course, doesn't talk about the application. This just talks about generalization of the prefix sum concept. So in 1D array, we have seen this is how we calculate prefix sum. Now there are some matrix problems that require prefix sum of the matrix. So if we take the matrix and we try to calculate prefix sum, then if you notice M0, so I can just say, first let me formally define what is prefix sum of a matrix at any cell. So prefix sum of matrix ij at any cell level ij, it will be considered to be sum of all elements of submatrix. Submatrix that starts at with top left cell as 0, 0 and bottom right cell as ij. That means if I want to fill prefix sum here, then it should essentially be sum of all the elements up to this. So it starts at 0, 0 as top cell and this cell as bottom right cell ij. So this is what essentially we want to calculate in prefix sum matrix. Now, like we did prefix sum in 1D array, same way if I just go with prefix sum in 2D array, then let's quickly formalize it first. So there is no doubt that prefix sum of 0, 0 cell will essentially be whatever is there in the matrix A, M0, 0. So that means we can directly copy 1 over here. So this is the first case that we should be clear about. Now second case, when we are calculating prefix sum of a matrix, let's say in 0th row and any column, then it will be more like the prefix sum of 1D array because this we will fill as prefix sum of 0 up to j minus 1 plus m of 0 and j. So what do I mean by that is let's try 1 we have already filled. Now here j is 1. If we are filling the first uh, row, sorry, if we are filling 0th row, this is the first row then we are looking at for filling any cell we have to look at the prefix sum up to the previous column and add the current value for example we will add 6 which is m of 0 1 and we will be adding 
1 which is pm of 0 0 so that way if i go and fill this it will become 7 and then same way if we fill the next one 8 plus 7 will become 15 and if we fill the next one 2 this becomes 17 so prefix sum of a matrix for any given for 0th row essentially is straightforward we have used prefix sum formula of 1d array same way if i want to fill the first column so i will say with any i and 0 is the column number then essentially it will be prefix sum of matrix up to i minus 1th row 0th column plus it will become m of i comma 0 so with that let's go and fill just first column so first column also is filled like a 1d array so 1 plus this one plus minus 9 will become minus 8 and minus 8 plus 4 will become minus 4 so first row is done first column is done now the thing is how do we fill the prefix sum of any other cell so if we want to fill the prefix sum of any other cell in a matrix then that would be defined as prefix sum of matrix of any cell ij other than first three other than 0 0 other than 0th row other than 0th column then this will be calculated if we pay attention let's say we want prefix sum of this cell then what we can do is we can take prefix sum up of above matrix in order to understand this let me just take one more drawing so if i go with this drawing let's say at any moment we want to find prefix sum of this let me call this cell as ij so i want to calculate the prefix sum of this entire matrix which is this Now, in order to calculate this, if you observe, we would already have calculated prefix sum of this matrix up to this, which is i minus 1, j, same column and previous row. Imagine if we have that sum, that is going to help us a lot to calculate the current sum. Plus, we want to add this also in the sense we want to have this sum also added and this sum is no different than i j minus 1 so if we have these two sums available i minus 1 j and i j minus 1 and we add them together then one thing you would observe here is this area is common in both of them and this area is nothing but it is giving us the sum i minus 1 j minus 1 so if we look carefully at this drawing then we would be easily able to write this prefix sum of matrix i j as it should be prefix sum of matrix up to i minus 1 j plus prefix sum of matrix i j minus 1 minus the thing that we will subtract is this prefix sum of matrix i minus 1 j minus 1 so this will help us fill rest of the matrix with with this idea that we are adding this sum and this sum and subtracting the sum which got added two times this got added two times this is included in this also in this also we are just subtracting that okay so let's go ahead with with this idea and fill this matrix now so we want to fill this so this would not would be nothing but sum of this and this cell upper cell and left cell which is minus 8 plus 7 that gives us minus 1 and from minus 1 we have to subtract this cell so upper cell left cell sum minus this and one more thing i just missed out that is we have to add current cell which is a new cell because this cell we have not included we have just added this plus this minus this but current cell ij has to be added so that is one more thing it should be plus m of ij 
So let's go back and do this. So now it should be 7 minus 8. We are adding these two values, minus 1. Minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. Minus 2 plus 11 becomes 9. And now if we really go and check, if you add all these four values, 11 plus 1 is 12, 12 plus 6 is 18, 18 minus 9 is 9. That we got the correct value using our formula. So let's come here. In order to fill the prefix sum for 3, we will add 15 and 9, which is 24. 24 minus 7, which is 17. 17 plus 3 is 20. And again, let's go and validate 8 plus 3, 11. We are just trying to sum all this to see is the sum really 20. 8, 3, 11, 11, 22, 22 and 6, 28, 28 and 129, 29 minus 9 is 20. Then come here, 20 plus 17 is 37. 37 minus 15 is 22. 22 minus 1 would give us... 21. Now let's go fill here. So this will be sum of these two. 9 minus 4 is 5. 5 minus minus 8 will be 13. 13 plus minus 8 will be 5. Then when we come here, it will be sum of these two. 20 and 5 will be 25. 25 minus 9 will be 16. And 16 plus 0 will be 16 only. Then coming here, 21 plus 16 is 37. 37 minus 20 is 17. 17 plus 5 is 22. Let's quickly validate if sum of all the elements is 22 or not. 5 to 7 minus 1 is 6. 6, 8, 14. 14, 3, 17. 17, 6, 23. 24, 10. 34, 34 minus 8 is 26, 26 plus 4, 30, 31, 31 minus 9 is giving us 22. So this is how we calculate prefix sum of a given matrix. Again, this is also useful in solving problems uh, on subarray, or sorry, submatrix sum. So this has some applications in dynamic programming also. So this is second concept. Now third prefix sum is also useful in solving some of the tree problems, which are path related problems. So in tree, what we do, essentially, we say prefix sum at any node level, prefix sum of any node in a tree is nothing but it is prefix sum up to parent of that node plus the current node value and prefix sum of root will certainly be equal to the root value is equal to root val. So what I'm going to do, uh, usually when we solve three problems, we just pass the prefix sum to every node in the tree rather than storing them in an array or matrix. So we keep passing that information. Every parent passes that information to its child. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill the prefix sum on top of every node. So prefix sum up to root we know is 3 only because the root node prefix sum will be the root node value itself. So prefix sum here is 3. Now 3 is passed to 2 because 2 needs, in order to calculate prefix sum of 2, we need the root or parent prefix sum value, which is 3. 3 plus 2 becomes 5. Same way, when we come here, prefix sum here becomes 3 plus 2, 5 minus 8 becomes minus 3. And if you come here, prefix sum becomes 3. We are just adding minus 3 plus 6. And if you come here, prefix sum of up to this root, this node value will be minus 3 plus 1. It will be minus 2. If you come here, prefix sum will be 9 plus 5, 14. Here, prefix sum will be 7. Here, prefix sum will be 18. So this is the prefix sum concept on trees using which we can solve few problems uh, which, which require actually uh, related to the path sum problems. If we are searching for a specified path sum uh, going downwards, uh, then, then this concept can be utilized.